All right, for some light items, what's your favorite video game? Uh, gosh. The one that I've played the most, I want to say, is Skyrim. Um, but the game that I liked the most was definitely Mass Effect 2. Or Dragon Age 2. One of the two. So there are three of them. <laughs> Who's the best Mass Effect character? Uh, if, if we're not talking about Shepard, um, I gotta go with Liara. But that's just because she's hot. <laughs> Did you romance Honestly, her? though... Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's I I liked her because she actually had, in my opinion, better character development. Don't get me wrong. Also, you know, she's hot. Um, but like, I felt like her romance line had a lot more depth than than anybody else's. Yeah, I'll need to go back through and and play. They're, they're such long games. Yeah. I've already played through them like three times. But I, I well, or twice, I guess I played through them. Um, and I think I went with Liara both times for my romance. Yeah, she's definitely the, if, especially if you're going, if you're, if you want to go like the longest through all the games, I think it's either her or uh, Ashley or uh, the other guy. Caden? Uh, Caden, yeah, thanks. Uh, whichever one you say. I think those are the only ones, actually... No, you can only romance Liara through all three of them, now that I think about it. And the only reason you can romance Liara in number two is because of the the DLC. Yeah, Shadow Broker? Yeah, Shadow Broker. Um, so yeah, especially if, if you want to romance a character through the whole thing, she's the one that you have to go with. Did you have any thoughts on the ending of Mass Effect 3? Yeah. Um, actually, I wasn't as critical of it even before they they you know added the the free DLC ending um i actually liked it because i liked the notion of of the heroic sacrifice i felt like it was appropriate for shepherd even though i hated seeing her die spoiler alert <laughs> do you think that people who criticized the ending of mass effect 3 and then in some cases demanded that they redo the ending do you think that they were infringing upon the creative freedom of the developer uh that's a tough question i can see it both ways um yeah i can i can see it both ways uh dang it quit going to sleep sorry uh yeah i just i, I would I guess, like, since I didn't have an object, didn't really have an an objection um, to the original ending, I just don't have a lot of uh, like attachment to it. So, yeah. I I can still like they had a right to object, right? They had a, a right to say, okay, this was this was just lazy fucking writing, which it was, because um, they basically just put a pin in the end. But I like I actually liked the notion of of the no of like the heroic noble sacrifice. So I can, like I said, I can see it. I can see it both ways. Yeah, I'm not even sure if anyone actually demanded the ending be changed. To be honest, I know that like people say that some people did, but I've never actually like seen the proof myself to see like what yeah. they were saying. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. There was a lot of discussion about it, but I don't, I don't remember any like campaigns or anything to get it changed. And it's also kind of weird because it seems like, it seems like I think the developers at the time. Actually, I probably shouldn't say this because I don't know if it's 100% true. And if it's going to end up in the book, I want to make sure it's true. So never mind. Okay. Well, I was just, just going to say, because we can talk about the general point without talking about the specific. It seemed like the publisher rushed it out and the developers wanted to do more with it. And they kind of, I think, publicly hinted that they wanted to do more, but they couldn't. So it's a bit of a that weird... Is, it seems like the that publisher is, and French... That is wonder. indeed what happened. Yeah. Um, I can... Uh, obviously, it's just my word, but um, I do recall reading an article about one of the developers talking about they were in a meeting with EA, and EA said... Uh, EA kicked somebody out of the meeting, I think, uh, and said, this is... We need to get this out. Use this as the ending. We're we're taking the reins on this one. Um, yeah. So, so. So in that case, you can almost like argue that like the if people were demanding that they 
the do the ending right, that they're like almost defending the creative freedom of the of the artist against the publisher. Like it's it's sort of a yeah. weird case, you know. Yeah, and so long as nobody's going to like advertisers or you know other publishers and demanding um, uh, like tortiously interfering with their contracts in some way, uh, I think it's perfectly fine. Uh, uh, the criticism that that people had of it, I do like the new end, like the the newer ending, the DLC ending better. But um, you know, I think it's perfectly fine to to. Especially in that situation, where it was, uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, was true that the that EA came in and kind of steamrolled the the writers. What's your favorite ending? Um, the uh, synthesis ending. Yeah, so. it's a tough choice because the synthesis ending, I feel like, is actually. It's it's the most I guess like moral ending quote unquote but there's like this very bad aspect to it where you're like forcing everybody in the entire galaxy to undergo this drastic change to their genetic makeup without really their consent. Yeah, yeah, that is a good criticism. I, I'd never really thought about that, but that is a good criticism. Um, yeah, wow, I'd never actually thought about it that way. Um, my my only real objection was that. You know, she dies. Like no matter what, she dies. Well, there is there is a, a a renegade ending where she lives, but a lot of people die. So there weren't really any good choices. That's why I say I like the synthesis most because I think that it it created the the greatest good and and the least harm of all of the options. She being Shepard. Yeah, she. Uh, yeah, I always play Fem Shep. But you're a misogynist, bro. You hate women. You want you oppose <laughs> diversity in video games. What are you doing? <laughs> no, I used to I actually used to make a joke uh, to people uh, about that, and I used to say, if I'm going to stare at somebody's ass for you know seventy hours, I'd rather it be a a, a woman's ass than a man's. Ass. <laughs> fair point. So fair point. I, I got my misogyny in there, even though I picked the female shepherd. <laughs> well, let's. This is a good branching off point to talk about diversity in games, if you want. Sure. Do you think it's important that people feel represented in games? I think that, like, I understand why people have those objections. Um, I think they're uh, overblown. Um, I know a lot of people who are perfectly fine with uh, with the diversity makeup of, of game characters. Uh, a lot of those are, are minorities. Um, I, I, I don't object to there being more diversity either. Um, it's just I don't want the quality of, of the video game to suffer as a result of it. So as an example, um, in Dragon Age Inquisition, uh, they, uh, they kind of... Uh, like hand fisted this trans character into it, uh, Krem, uh, Prometheus or something like that, um, and it was just poorly written. I mean, it it, it was clearly like a attack on to the game. Like she she had absolutely no or he whatever had absolutely no impact on the story except for a couple of dialogue lines, um, and that negatively impacted the like it it took me out of the out of the immersion. Um, however. Uh, games like um, uh, why am I calling it Greedfall? Bioshock. Um, Bioshock Infinite uh, did a really great job, and they had plenty of of uh, diverse characters uh, in 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 uh, in that game, and I felt like they did a good job of uh, it not looking sort of ham fisted or or shoved in. And it ended up being, in my opinion, being a very, very good game. I know you said you're a Mass Effect fan. Some people, oh, well, my perception at the time was that some people in the anti-social justice warrior community, quote unquote, and some people who supported Gamergate even, uh, were losing their minds over this game. Do you have any thoughts on, on that game? And the controversies surrounding it, there were several. Which which game? Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, um, yeah, it was just 
I, I don't... The problem with Mass Effect Andromeda is that they brought a team to, to develop it that was completely new. Um, they did have a lot of problems with the, the politics and with being disrespectful to their fan base, which is bad enough on its own. But, I mean, even, like, they just, they, they weren't up to snuff to, to create a AAA game in the fashion of Mass Effect. It was just poor, poor management. Uh, a poor management decision to put that many sort of greenhorns onto it. So that was my criticism. It was just poorly written. Um, I did have a lot of objections to to uh, some of their creators uh, because they were pretty ugly online to the fan base. Well, one of them um, in particular was posting like some really bad stuff. Yeah, like the what did they snowdrift or snowfall or whatever. I can't remember what it was. I but, remember the guy's name, but I'm not saying it because I don't want to get sued. Yeah, I, I don't want to say it either because, I mean, there's, you know, liability issues for you and stuff. Um, uh, but yeah, there was, there was, I did have an objection to that. Not as much as a lot of people. My objection was just that it was just a piss poor made game. It, they, it, it was clearly done by a team that was playing with expensive toys but didn't know how to do it. Like do it right. Yeah, like I, I agree. I, 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 I know one of the creators said some racist stuff on Twitter, and I don't approve of that or condone that. But I don't think that, I don't think that means you should boycott the entire game or anything like that. But now if it's a bad yeah. game and you want to boycott it because the game sucks, like that's a thousand yeah. percent fine. Yeah, um, but and, and I ended up buying the game. It's just I waited until it was like five dollars on on uh, Steam, <laughs> so. Which wasn't that long. I think it was like nine months after release. <laughs> How fast. One of the most popular Gamergate videos I ever did, though, was actually me criticizing the uh, the people who were outraged before the game even came out, who were freaking out because of, uh, well, in part because of the man VR, uh, the developer, developer yeah. controversy. And then in part, developers' racist comments controversy, I should say. And then in part because some of them were like legitimately like anti-diversity, like, oh my god, there's too many minorities in the game. Like, what, like there were people on YouTube <laughs> comment section. I know the highest quality discourse ever. There were people on YouTube <laughs> comment section who were saying stuff like that. So I had to call that out. It wasn't in my comment section. It was on the official video, the official trailer. And uh -huh. like, so I I criticized those people. Um, hardcore, and I got over like a hundred and like fifty thousand views or something on that video. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I don't have a problem with diversity in games. If they want to put more, diver there, there have been a lot of games that were done really well that clearly had diversity put into them. Like, um, it's actually one I just bought not that long ago. Um, crap, how do I, how did I forget the name of this? I've been playing it nonstop. Uh. Stop updating and open. Really? Thank you, jackass. Not you. Boulder's Gate 3. Boulder's Gate 3 has a ton of diversity in it, right? Uh, you've got trans characters, you've got a, a bisexual, you've got, uh, you know, several different ethnicities, uh, you've got you know, uh, polyamorous relationships. There's a lot of that diversity in there, but they did the game really well. So I don't have a problem with diversity, even if even if there's a lot of it. It's just I, I don't want it to be in a piss poor game. You know. Do you have any thoughts on the Nexus mods removing the mods that removed pronouns from Starfield? <laughs> yeah, they're assholes. <laughs> Um, they're, they're free to, uh, make content decisions on their own website, right? Um, I disagree with it. I think they're assholes for doing it because they, they only did it to one side. And in fact, the guy that they, that they, I think it was, I think the guy was banned, but he'd actually put like other mods that changed all the flags to pride flags. Like, and, and so he was being very even-handed about it. So, like, you know, Nexus Mods is free to to moderate their content as they see fit, but that was just stupid and childish. Do you have any thoughts on Vivian James or Gamergate-related art projects? Um, 
not really. <laughs> to be honest, I thought that it was a clever character. Um, uh, but I don't really have any like comments on it. The most important question of all. Whatever happened to Ethics the Sea Lion? Oh, yeah, what did happen to that? Nobody knows. I've asked I've asked I've been asking everybody in these interviews. Nobody knows. At some point I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and send an email over to the to the charity and see if they know. Yeah. God, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, we we like sponsored a sea lion or something, right? Yeah, we named a sea lion <laughs> ethics. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot. But yeah, no, I have no idea what happened to it. I, yeah, I, no, no clue. <laughs> I'm scared to know the answer, but I'm gonna Google it right now. Sea lion lifespan, twenty to thirty years. Oh yeah, I think so he's it's probably still, still alive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Now I don't what? know. What they, I don't know if it's different if they're in captivity though. Was yes. it for a zoo? It was for no. It was a wildlife. It was um. It wasn't a zoo, right? It was a. Uh, it was, it was like, like a, a wildlife preserve, preserve or something. Yeah, right? so yeah. They, that's like basically in the wild. So yeah, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything on Google that. I mean, I I, I could probably find out, but yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> All right, what was 